trigonometry what is trigonometry trigonometry as uh, most people know it is the study of triangles that's the idea because after all when we hear the word tree we think of tree so this is tree cono is around side so metry is measurement so whenever we hear about the word trigonometry we are talking about triangles now the first question is what are the trigonometric ratios trigonometric ratios are as we know referred to as sine and cos but we usually don't use the word sine or cos we use the word sine of some angle and cos of some angle so something like this so when we say trigonometry we say sine x or cos x now the first question is why do we use the symbol sine and cos and where do they come from first thing is the word sign and the word cos they're actually they're referred to as the trigonometric ratios these are called the trigonometric ratios now the first thing we are trying to define trigonometry and also we need to know what ratios are when we talk about ratios we are talking about two things divided so ratios are two things divided so when we say the ratio of a to b is a divided by b so what are trigonometric ratios now the sine ratio first of all by definition if you're talking about a triangle if trigonometry is a three side measurement the first thing that comes to mind is a triangle so if we say this is a right angle triangle and we know that this is a right angle triangle so if this is a right angle triangle then this is the right angle and one of the most important thing to remember the side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse which means it is the longest side because in a right angle triangle the largest angle is 90 degree so the side opposite the 90 degree is hypotenuse now there are two other sides left but the names of these two sides depend on a reference to the angle for example I am if I'm referring to this angle let me call this angle uh, a pronoun theta theta is the Greek letter uh, it refers to an angle and it's used a pronoun any angle can be called theta if you're referring to this angle theta then the angle this and the side opposite to this is called the opposite so this side opposite this theta with res reference to this angle this is opposite and with reference to this angle this is called adjacent to the angle so whenever we are referring to an angle we can refer to the other two sides so the hypotenuse is fixed but the other two sides depends on what reference are you giving to the angle so the name of the angle or the position of the angle is very very important uh, on the other hand if you had considered this angle then this would be the opposite and this would be the adjacent so it is extremely important to remember that the reference of the sides the opposite and the adjacent are with the angle so what is the meaning of the word sine x well s the word sine x is a shortcut or a mathematical symbol for saying this thing if it is said let me use this if someone says this thing what is the meaning of sine x 
or sin theta it means divide the opposite side now here when we are talking about the opposite side this is where sin x coming from opposite with respect to what with a reference to the angle if the angle suppose this is theta this is the angle x then with reference to this angle the opposite side of this angle would be called opposite so divide the opposite side by the hypotenuse this means the largest side opposite 90 degree so the hypotenuse may be fixed but it is the angle the sine x means you're dividing the opposite side with the hypotenuse in other words it means the sine ratio means ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse so we can say that sine x is equals to opposite by hypotenuse as a shortcut we can say so so the mathematical symbol for sin x s i n x it is actually some sort of an order some sort of an application what are you going to do you're going to divide the opposite side with the hypotenuse so you're telling which is the opposite by defining this angle the angle x anything opposite to this angle that side will be called opposite and the hypotenuse is always fixed similarly if someone says what is the meaning of the mathematical term cos x so what is cos x if that is the question after this so cos x is the order divide the adjacent by the hypotenuse so the adjacent side is this and the hypotenuse so cos x is going to be referred to as the adjacent by the hypotenuse this ratio of the adjacent to the uh, hypotenuse side is called as cos x you can remember it like ka c for cos adjacent by hypotenuse so ka now these two are called the trigonometric ratios why ratio because the two sides are divided but the name of the angle is extremely important because without the angle there is no reference now from these two trigonometric ratios we can actually have a new ratio called the tan ratio which is nothing but made from sine and cos so tan ratio of the angle x means the sine ratio of the angle x divided by the cos ratio of the angle x so if you write o by h opposite by hypotenuse divided by a by h adjacent by hypotenuse the h and h cancels and it turns out to be opposite by adjacent or toa so you can remember it like so ka toa sine ratio of the angle x cos ratio of the angle x tan ratio of the angle x so you have to remember the tan ratio actually is not part of the basic trigonometric ratio the native trigonometric ratio because tan ratio is made from the sine ratio and the cos ratio so this is the trigonometric ratios and where they come so the symbol the mathematical symbol of the trigonometric ratios are coming from the uh, at right angle triangle but uh, actually the meaning of the words the word sine and the word cos they're actually the study of a circle so trigonometry is actually although it deals with triangles but actually it originated from a circle so let's see a circle here now in this circle if we think about this is the center so we know this is the radius so this is the radius of the circle now this thing that joins two points on the circumference that thing is called a chord so this is a chord 
now from the center this is a radius from the center if a right angle a perpendicular is drawn then this side this chord would be bisected into two so by definition sine suppose this is the angle x and this is the radius r so let's call this unit radius meaning the radius is 1 if this is the situation then sin x is actually half of a chord half of a chord that is equals to sin x that means this length here this length here which is half of a chord this is sin x and this one here which is the perpendicular distance from the center to the half chord this is cos x so cos x is actually the perpendicular drawn from the center to the half chord so that is actually cos x so that means this thing this length is actually cos x so in terms of circle sin x is half the length of a chord and cos x is the perpendicular from the center to the half chord so this is the definition of sin x and cos x is coming from the circle originally coming from the circle now if you think of this right angle triangle so this is a right angle triangle if you think of this right angle triangle this looks like this now if we consider this angle to be this angle x so sin x here would be the ratio of the opposite now if this is the angle the opposite of this angle is this so this would be the opposite and this would be the hypotenuse now the hypotenuse is the radius 1 so it would be opposite by 1 so sin x would be equal to the opposite which this length so this length the half of the chord would be called sin x and similarly if we consider this angle to be x and if we take the cos ratio of this angle so this would be the adjacent and this would be the hypotenuse which is the radius 1 so cos of this angle x would be this perpendicular divided by 1 adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent by 1 it would be equal to adjacent so cos x would be equal to the perpendicular distance so for starting trigonometry we need to know what trigonometric ratios are and where did the name come from next the thing to look at are the trigonometric angles how the angles are defined